Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be focusing mostly on leaf removal and creating a nice leaf mulch for my raised beds in the vegetable garden area. You can see behind me on the sidewalks and the flower beds, and if you could see in front of me in the grass, there are leaves everywhere, just everywhere. We thought we were keeping up pretty good on everything and then we had a couple of really windy days and it brought down most of the leaves. So I just wanted to show you guys a way that you can utilize your leaves to create really nice soil. It's a free resource that most of us have like right in front of me sitting in a pile on my sidewalk. Um, so in the front of Versailles, we created a new flower bed a couple of years ago and the soil was horrible. It used to be just be like compacted soil and rocks on top of it. We removed the rocks and I've been adding the leaves for the last two falls and the soil is starting to improve. And I feel like if we can do that every single fall and do it in more areas of our garden, we can create something really healthy and sustainable uh, here. So I just wanna show you how I'm gonna go about doing that today. So if you think about it in terms of composting, when you have organic material worked into the, the soil, it breaks down, which creates humus, which improves overall soil quality. Um, and this is what we do in compost piles. You know, you add your leaves and your grass clippings and then eventually, you know, you turn it and get air going into it. Eventually you end up with some nice compost. So you've got your carbon source, which is your leaves and you have your grass clippings, which is your nitrogen. And there are variations on both ends of the scale on what carbon and nitrogen elements you can put in. Um, so we're essentially doing the same thing on a very small scale. We're adding like a mini compost pile on top of our soil. Um, but the trouble is in the fall, we're adding our carbon layer because leaves, the dried up leaves are largely carbon. So we need to add a nitrogen element to it. And I'm not cutting grass right now. I don't really have anything to add that's nitrogen. So I'm gonna be correcting our nitrogen carbon ratio with blood meal, which is super high in nitrogen and it breaks down pretty quickly it also deters animals so like if you have a like a legit compost pile where you put kitchen scraps which those can tend to maybe put off a little bit more of a smell as they're decomposing this might keep critters away from it I don't think I'm gonna have that problem with just leaves breaking down though so we're essentially just going for a mini compost pile I want to get my carbon and my nitrogen going together on top of the soil but in this case which is different from traditional compost piles is we need to shred up the leaves we need to start that breakdown process first because what can happen if you just gather up your leaves and just put them on top of your soil they can tend to form a mat especially if you're doing a thicker layer um, which can prevent water from penetrating and getting down to the soil which is not good and it also can take a lot longer to break down so we want to create nice little pieces that the water can penetrate the air can get around because air is essential to compost so you have to keep the air going keeps the microbes happy the um, high nitrogen blood meal is the fuel that will keep the microbes like the population population growing and it'll keep feeding them so they can keep on working their way through all the organic material. So I hope all of that made sense. A lot of talking. First thing I need to do is go get my blower and I'm going to blow as many of the leaves as I can into one spot in the yard. I'm also going to have to take my trailer off the lawn tractor and hook up the bagger because we are going to just run over all the leaves with the lawn mower and that's how we're going to do our shredding today. I need a battery. Perfect. Right, little progress update I basically just blew off all the surfaces so the sidewalks from the back kitchen door around here and there's still a big pile over here on this side but I blew what I could down the sidewalk and then I blew off the brick patio area and then this whole spot underneath this tree right here because this lost a ton of leaves over the weekend but I gotta tell you this blower has been so amazing I did all of this all the leaves in the yard with the blower it does, doesn't do like all of the work for me, but I think it does at least, I would say like 80%, maybe 75% of the work for me. 
Another way you can utilize your leaves is by mulching up your flower beds and then planning on removing them in the spring. You just wouldn't want to leave a really thick layer on there throughout the season because like I said, for moisture reasons and that sort of thing. But like right here, I have five, one, two, three, yeah, five agapanthus planted. First time I've ever grown agapanthus, they're a zone seven, I garden in a zone five. And I planted them knowing full well that they probably wouldn't uh, survive a winter here. But I blew a bunch of leaves around the base of the plants to create a little bit of insulation. And sometimes when you mulch up around your plants that are tender, they'll survive a winter, especially if you have a more mild winter. And I don't know what this one's supposed to be like. Um, so that's a way you can use your leaves. You can mulch up tender plants, you can mulch around the base of roses, things like that. And that's a good thing too for extra insulation. So I just tend to like to do most of my cleanup in the fall. Um, I'm not doing near as much of it this year as I have in past years just because, um, I don't know, I'm like kind of liking the more natural look of the landscape with the leaves down. Benjamin likes to play with them and I don't know, we evolve over time. Um, but now I am going to go to the barn and I'm going to hook up the lawn tractor with the bagger and then we're going to mow over this. I'm going to attempt to mow over this. I probably have it way too thick, but these leaves are incredibly dry. So I don't think it'll bog down the mower. I don't know. Aaron would probably roll his eyes at me right now if he saw the state of this yard. All right, so here we are. I need to take this off and put that on. that difference right there. I just wanted to get an idea of how much goes in those bags because Aaron said that they fill up super fast and he said I had this way too thick. <laughs> so let's take a look. Unless it's clogging up underneath it's certainly not filling fast. That's kind of scary. I don't see any clog down in there though. Not yet. Anyway. Well we'll keep going and see what happens. The deer is doing a good job. It's a beast. And look at this. Most of them are chopped into these fine little pieces, which is what I was going for. Let's look in this hopper. These look really good too. I think what I'm going to do, since this one is full, I'm going to pull this off and take it to the vegetable garden right now. So I'm here in the vegetable garden now. I have my leaves, I have my blood meal. What I need to do is pull up the irrigation because I need to rerun that next year anyway. Um, so I think I'm just gonna take it all off, put a couple inch layer of shredded leaves down and then sprinkle blood meal over the top. As the blood meal goes for application rate, I did the normal feeding rate, which this is a one pound per 100 square feet. This is only 18 square feet, it's three by six. So I just did a, a generous sprinkling, but not too terribly much. And this is basically what I'm gonna do for the rest of my garden beds. So I've got, how many total? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 raised beds in here. All of them vary in size a little bit. I think I have enough left in my bag to do at least this three by four, if not both three by fours here. And I really don't have a lot going on in here right now. I've got four boxwoods, so these two here and then two on the other side. There are my carrots right there, which I'll continually harvest from. I need to pull this yucca in. This is like a Spanish dagger, dagger yucca. And they're not hardy enough to survive our winters. It's doing okay so far, but I better get it in soon. I've got some of the lettuce and spinach I seeded late. This stuff didn't do as well. I noticed a cat got in there at one point and roughed stuff up, but I don't know where all the seeds went. I've got a couple of pea plants, which probably won't produce anything at this point. My strawberries are still right there. I've got a calendula, more strawberries in this bed. I've got chives and then a container I need to clean out. 
and the glorious west side, which I'm super excited to start planting. It's getting a little off topic here. So I'm just gonna continue working on this. I'm gonna continue uh, mowing, mulching, putting blood meal down, and that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple. So I just finished up and we're just starting to lose light. It's getting a little bit dim out here. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what the garden space looks like. Doesn't that look nice? Like it looks nice as a mulch. Really, it makes everything look tidy. And the fact that it's just going to break down and work its way into the soil is just an added bonus. I also put a couple of bamboo cloches and these metal ones in the raised beds just for decorative. I like to look out here. They kind of provide some winter structure. And then I've got the rose supports in the four corners. I used them as tomato frames last year. And this year, uh, Lemon Appeal Thimbergia grew up them. So I like to just have little things here and there that look pretty. And that is pretty much it for this video. I just thought you guys might like to see how I was kind of prepping my beds for winter. And this is something I have never done in this vegetable garden space. Um, typically in the spring, I just work some bags of compost in, which is great too. Um, but if we can utilize what's already in our yards and not have to bring in anything extra, um, I think that's just wonderful. And I'm gonna be doing more of that. So as the leaves, like as we pick up more and more leaves, I'll be adding them to more areas in my garden. Um, and it'll just be a good feeling going into winter knowing that this is going on out here. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.